Hey, good people. Uh, remember the video I did uh, last time, a while ago, about house chores and how we people need to share house chores and all that. So yeah, today I just came to show you that um, I, I I did it and I managed to do like uh, house chores in a very short time. And um, the video might be a bit fast, but I did it in a record of like less than forty minutes. I had finished everything. I know it's it's long, but uh, yeah. I just wanted to let you know that we can do this and uh, let's keep the fire burning. This is path and this is where you get real authentic stories about diaspora and especially part of Australia. Okay, if you have any comment or anything you want to say about this channel, this video, please uh, leave in the comment section and uh, feel free to subscribe and we meet here to discuss so many things about diaspora, about life here and in general how life is uh, taking you wherever you are. So yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, yeah, so today I came home and I just found uh, a few things to be done. You, you pencil the sink, it was a bit dirty on the bench. Yeah, so I just um, came back to home and uh, started doing it because uh, my wife left for work and yeah, someone has to do something. So yeah, here you go. I just uh, checked and uh, everything was a mess and uh, I started by just moving things around and I made sure that um, and, and if there's any trash I put in the trash bin I put all the things that are needed to be washed I put in the sink and I made sure that um, I had even uh, uh, cleared the, 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 clear, the clean utensils I put them away you know how sometimes you just want to take a um, uh, work in a clean place and here I was ready to go and um, yeah I made it um, I started with the, uh, with the sink I cleared it and I, I did all the necessary bits and pieces to make sure that everything was in order I put hot water I like working in hot water when I wash if there's any grease or oil easy to come out so here i did it started and uh, it was so enjoyable couldn't find a uh, better way to do this and uh, i didn't even have um uh, any anyone to talk to so i didn't have even music so i was just doing it and i like working in silence so when i want to just quiet and no one is disturbing i do my stuff very efficiently and um yeah sometimes you know you've got to do this you know you don't know if you your the partner your wife is away maybe they've gone to work you don't want to come in to come in the house and just sit and wait for someone else to come and do it um i, I remember when i was um when i was in the military someone and uh, an instructor who used to say that um if something is hard give it to me i'll do it so that's why that's that's my slogan all the time. I say if it's hard, let me do, let me do it for you. Because sometimes I afraid, sometimes people are afraid. They say, oh, this is hard. This um, what 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 have you and what not? And that's the thing that I want to do. Because if if I don't do it, then who'll do it? So see, yeah. And back then, sometimes you know when you when you're doing this, you don't know. You're just making room even for better things. And when maybe when your partner comes, regardless who is doing it, when your partner comes home. At least one person is not too tired and um, you can do whatever you want, you can have a good time and um, you can enjoy your time and do whatever you want to do. Anything you want to do, I don't want to say everything you can do. I'm just saying that you know what you can do when you have time. Otherwise, if you leave it and uh, someone, your wife or your partner comes and uh, they have to do all the chores while you are sitting there. So there's no time, that the quality time that you're sharing. So... You have to wait for them to finish so that you can think of other things and by the time they finish they're tired and by the time you go and you want to do you want to you want to you read your constitution now this chaos oh i'm tired and all that everything that comes with tiredness you know but if you had done all these before you would have uh, rested enough and by the time they come they can rest you can massage their feet or or just uh, have a chat yeah, and before you know it, you're doing your thing and you're loving it. So this is um, how family ought to be. Like it's everyone, every every hand on deck. 
and when, when that is done, you push and pull together or everything else falls in place. Especially when you're, when you're tired and uh, it's easy for you to get angry and when you're angry, it's easy for you to say, you push away your partner and uh, push away everyone else who is coming to you. So it's good to help one another to just touch whatever you can and you can get a reward in that. The reward you get, it's actually satisfying. Like when I do this, I just feel satisfying and, uh, and I feel like, yeah, I've done something. It's like waking up and making your bed, you know. You make your bed and you feel like, yeah, I did it. It's good. It's a good start for the day. Like you, you look behind and you see, yes, you see, I got a reward there. So um, it's good. It's good to just put put things into into motion when you find something is not right, you do it. Don't blame on someone else, just do it because if you don't do it, then who will do it? That is how family, I believe that is how family should run. And especially when uh, here in diaspora you find that uh, everyone is busy and everyone is running around with the children, we don't have uh, house help. So you, everyone has to do something. And uh, when you do something, it makes someone else's life uh, bearable. And when the life is bearable, you got to do a lot of things. You can discuss even pro uh, projects because you guys have time. Have uh, even yeah, even a friend came and he was happy that the place was clean. You see, oh, I was I was so happy that I did it. Look at that kitchen. Kitchen island was so nice and very clean. Ready, just and the ladies came. They were ready to cook. That's a friend there who was visiting, and how good it is that I did it. I did the cleaning and. Uh, See, when someone comes and finds it clean, everything good. And your, and your life will be so good and you will enjoy it. Every bit of cleanliness is next to godliness. Enjoy your day, guys, and thanks for joining me. And I hope this helps someone. And uh, let's keep helping one another. Let's make life bearable for one another. Thank you. Bye-bye.